Following on from centuries of direct observation, physical space exploration commenced during World War II, with Werner von Braun's V-2 military rocket being the first man-made object to pass the 100-kilometer threshold, the point at which space was conventionally seen to begin. It was this rocket that also provided the very first pictures of Earth from space, taken at an altitude of 105 kilometers. In 1949, the United States started to test the effects of spaceflight on mammals, and Albert the rhesus monkey became the first vertebrate in space, but sadly he perished during re-entry. Whilst the US was experimenting with monkeys, the Soviet Union was planning to send dogs into space. And two years later, in 1951, Saigon and Desik became the first mammals successfully recovered after spaceflight. But by far the most famous canine astronaut of all time is undoubtedly Laika, who in 1957 became the first animal in orbit. A stray mongrel from the streets of Moscow, her trip was inevitably going to be her last, as no deorbiting technology existed yet. But she paved the way for human spaceflight in the subsequent years. Before now, little was known about the effects of spaceflight on living organisms, and prior to Laika many scientists believed it would be impossible for humans to survive the launch, as well as the effects of zero-g environments. This was also the year that the USSR launched Sputnik 1, the first ever artificial satellite. The 58-centimeter polished sphere broadcast radio pulses that could be picked up on Earth by radio amateurs. It orbited for three weeks until its batteries died, and it drifted silently before falling back into the atmosphere two months later. Today a new moon is in the sky, a 23-inch metal sphere placed in orbit by a Russian rocket. Here an artist's conception of how the feat was accomplished. A three-stage rocket. Number one, the booster in the class of an intercontinental missile. Its weight estimated at 50 tons. The smaller second stage took over at 5,000 miles an hour and carried on to the highest point reached. 500 miles up, the artificial moon is boosted to a speed counterbalancing the pull of gravity and released. You are hearing the actual signals transmitted by the Earth-circling satellite. One of the great scientific feats of the age. 60 years ago this year, in 1961, the first ever human was launched into space. The space capsule Vostok 1 carried Soviet pilot and cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin for one full orbit of the planet, before returning him home safely. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long range exploration of space and none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. In 1963, engineer and cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova became the first woman in space. She orbited the Earth 48 times on the Vostok 6, spent almost three days in space, and she remains the only woman ever to have been on a solo space mission. 1966, Luna 10, part of the year's Soviet lunar program, was the first spacecraft to go into orbit around the Moon, and the first human-made object to orbit any body beyond the Earth. 1968 was in the heart of the space race, and it was the turn of the USA to push the envelope of space exploration with their Apollo missions. This was the year that Apollo 8 launched. Four, three, two, one, zero. It was the first ever manned craft to leave low Earth orbit, 
and after reaching the moon it also became the first manned craft to reach another astronomical object, which it orbited, before returning astronauts, Frank Borman, James Lovell, and William Anders, safely back to Earth. These astronauts were also the first humans to experience an Earthrise, as photographed here by William Anders. I'm going to step off the lamp now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The following year brought the hotly anticipated launch of Apollo 11, which was to perform arguably the most iconic and greatest achievement mankind has ever fulfilled within the field of space exploration to date, to land on the moon. Liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. In July 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon, where he stayed for more than 21 hours with fellow astronaut Buzz Aldrin, leaving Command Module Pilot Michael Collins orbiting the moon alone in preparation for their return. From the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, AD. He came in peace for all mankind. In doing so, Collins became the first person to orbit the far side of the moon alone, and after the lunar surface mission was complete, the Eagle Lunar Module performed the first space launch from a celestial body. Very smooth. Balance couple off. Very quiet ride. There's that one crater on there. In 1971, the Soviet Union launched Salyut 1, the first ever space station, paving the way for permanent low Earth orbit domiciles that are still a very important part of space exploration today. In 1972, NASA launched the Pioneer 10 space probe, the first artificial object to achieve the escape velocity required to leave the solar system. The probe completed the first ever mission to Jupiter on its journey. Eventually, with the probe at a distance of 12 billion kilometers, radio communications were lost in 2003, following a loss of electrical power to its radio transmitter. On February 5, 1974, NASA's Mariner 10 mission took this first ever close-up photo of Venus. Made using an ultraviolet filter in its imaging system, the photo has been color-enhanced to bring out Venus's cloudy atmosphere as the human eye would see it. But it wasn't until the following year that mankind would obtain its first photograph from the surface of another planet. The Soviet Union's Venera 9 was able to send back this panoramic photo and survive the 900 degree Fahrenheit heat and intense pressure of Venus's surface for 53 minutes, before it would succumb to the hellish conditions of the planet's atmosphere. Venus continued to be of interest to the Soviet Union, and in 1982 they sent another probe, Venera 13, to once again land on its surface. As well as a color camera, this probe was also equipped with microphones and was thus able to beam back the first ever sounds recorded on another planet. Two years later, in 1984, NASA astronaut Bruce McCandless performed the first ever untethered spacewalk, navigating via the use of the specially designed manned maneuvering unit which he had helped to develop. Tragedy struck in 1986, when NASA's Space Shuttle Challenger exploded shortly after liftoff, killing all seven crew members, 
including high school teacher Krista McAuliffe. The cause of the incident was an external gas tank explosion caused by a faulty O-ring seal. Engines throttling up, three engines now at 104 percent. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity, 2,900 feet per second. Altitude, nine nautical miles. Downrange distance, seven nautical miles. It was in 1990 that NASA launched the Hubble Space Telescope. The HST has undoubtedly been the richest source of space photography that mankind has seen to date, allowing us to peer deeper into space than ever before. It has provided us with stunning vistas for over 30 years, and could be in operation until 2040. Hubble's main successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, is due to launch in late 2021. In 1997, NASA's Mars Pathfinder landed on the Red Planet, carrying a robotic rover, Sojourner, which became the first rover to operate outside the Earth-Moon system. To this day, rovers continue to operate on the surface of Mars. The first multinational space station was launched the following year. A collaborative project involving five participating space agencies, United States, Russia, Japan, Europe and Canada, the International Space Station continues to operate to this day, and is used as a microgravity and space environment research laboratory. The ISS orbits Earth every 90 minutes and can be seen with the naked eye. In 2004, we got closer than ever to the jewel of the solar system, and NASA's Cassini probe beamed back the most astonishing pictures of Saturn that the world had ever seen. The Kepler mission in 2009, launched the first ever space telescope designed to search for Earth-like exoplanets. The NASA telescope trails Earth's orbit and continues to perform some of the most important research in the search for extraterrestrial life. It wasn't until 2011 that the first orbit of Mercury was completed, via NASA's Messenger space probe. The probe, according to NASA, has since managed to image 100% of the planet visible from space, and it has taken the clearest photographs of the Sun's nearest neighbor to date. NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft hit the headlines in 2012 when it became the first man-made object ever to enter interstellar space. This photograph of Earth, the pale blue dot, was taken 12 years earlier from a distance of 6 billion kilometers, and remains one of space exploration's most iconic images ever. In 2014, the European Space Agency successfully maneuvered its Rosetta spacecraft into orbit around Comet 67P, becoming the first ever spacecraft to orbit a comet. This image was taken during approach. Three months later, its lander module, PhilI, performed the first successful landing on a comet. In 2015, NASA's spacecraft, Dawn, became the first ever to orbit two celestial bodies and was able to send back the best images of two of the asteroid belt's protoplanets to date. Dwarf Planet Vesta in 2011 and Dwarf Planet Ceres in 2015. The Dwarf Planet Love continued in the same year, when NASA's New Horizons spacecraft performed the first ever flyby of Pluto, sending back some incredible photographs. Before the mission, this was the clearest shot of Pluto that we had. The Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, is a telescopic array consisting of a global network of radio telescopes. In 2019, 
the international collaboration announced its first results in six simultaneous press conferences worldwide, during which they revealed this image. The first ever direct image of a black hole. Which brings us to the present day. What is planned for the future of space exploration? Through its Artemis program, NASA intends to return humans to the moon within the next five years, as well as putting the first woman on the lunar surface. The moons Enceladus and Europa continue to be of interest in the search for potential alien life. And a human mission to Mars is one of the next inevitable great frontiers of space exploration. This has been a Space Junkies production. Thanks so much for watching.